Morning folks, Grandpa Doss, Grandpa Doss Farms, how are you this morning? As you can see, the birds are already out of the coop. They get out at 5.45 a.m. and I'm a little bit late, it's about six o'clock. Let's get our water turned on so we can get going. Oh, this is one of my favorite views right here, by the way, in the morning. Got the garden going here. Sun isn't even really up yet on the other side over there. I love this time of morning. Hope you all are doing well. I want to say right off the bat, we've had a lot of new subscribers, which you all know I don't like that term. Grandma and I consider everybody family members, DOS Farm extended family members. Because quite frankly, hang on girls, you all know as much about us on a daily basis as our family does. Our real family, probably even more. Because you see us a couple times a week on our channel, Hi Mags, but you see the boys, my grandson, what, every night of the week except maybe Friday. What is she? She got something. That's baby. Get it. You're funny. I try to catch the good stuff, things that you <laughs> aren't really expecting. Anyhow, you watch us. You know as much about us, if not more than our own family. So we consider everybody Doss Farm family members. So if you're new here, welcome to the Doss family. Appreciate you very much. You share so many things with us as we share things with you. And we just thoroughly appreciate everybody very, very much. Thank you for watching our videos. We love all of you. And I just want to get that in real quick before we get going. What's up, girlfriend? Huh? What's up? By the way, Grandma is doing great. A lot of you are still asking. You know, we've kind of covered in the last couple of videos, but Grandma's doing very well. We appreciate all the prayers and concern. We really, really do. Uh, the length of this video, as you can see, is longer than we normally normally do. And I'd appreciate it if y'all would uh, hang around. Let's get these wormies out here so we can get them going to some wormies. Everybody up in here? Are we going? That's where we going? Hey, that's Blondie. Look at there. She's doing okay. That's been a big question. What's going on with Blondie? We'll address that here pretty soon. But the length of this video, folks, I hope y'all stick around and, and uh, watch it to the end. I'd appreciate it. It's just a little bit longer, but we had some things we just had to cover and had to say. So thank you so much for, for hanging out, for hanging in there with us. Appreciate you. Hey girls, let's do the wormy dance. One, two, let's go. Ready? A one, a two, a one, two, three, go. With the bucket. There we go. That a way to go, girls. Good job. And if you're new here, here we go. Here we go. You want to get out of my hand? There you go. That, folks, is the wormy dance. Grandpa does the wormy dance in his videos. All right. There's a story behind it. We won't go into it right now because it's. Did you choke? Are you okay? Take it easy, Lucille. You're all right. All of our animals are pets for life. The only thing we consume are the eggs the chickens lay. That is it, okay? Everybody else is a buddy. Hmm, as long as they want to stay here. Well, all of the chickens have names. Yes, I know them all. Hello, Blondie. Hello, Harrietta, how are you? Miss Delilah. Wait a minute, I got it messed up. That's Cher, that's Delilah. Miss Blondie, folks. She's doing so much better. A couple of nights there, she spent in the coop down on the bottom shelf and uh, as you can see now, she's made her way up to the top. I'm hoping she's doing better. You know, if you just go by action, you know, and how she's getting around and she's eating, she's drinking. You know, I put that uh, hydro hen in their water. I did three applications off and on. For whatever, you know, after that, it seems to be working. It had a lot of natural stuff in it. A lot of you are asking, hey, do you think she's got egg bound? She's not egg bound. I don't believe she has water belly. It could be some kind of an internal parasite. That's my best guess. And because of that, I've got something else I'm gonna give them and I'll show it to you here in a little bit. Morning's what I've been doing too, because we have two oh, birds that are broody. I have to get them out every day, show them the outside world, get them going. <laughs> I open up the egg collecting door and they're right here. This is Mae West. Here, come here, come here, honey. I, she does not like well then go out that way that's fine i don't have a problem with that go out that way go on go on get on out there 
I got to get them up and get them out. She grabs hold of that bottom shelf. Come on, honey. You're right, baby. You're right, baby girl. You're okay. Shh. Okay. You're okay. Shh. This is Annie Oakley. Okay. I know. I know. I know. It's okay. Shh. This is Annie Oakley. Okay. You're okay, baby. It's okay, honey. All right. Shh. I usually get her calmed down before I put her down. It's okay. Shh. Shh. I know. I know. But this is what happens there all night long. She sits there even before that. They get all stiff. And, and then they get all fired up and I just try to calm her down. So what I'll do, I'll leave this door open and then they don't go back in and roost while that door's open. Here we go. Okay, go ahead. Go on. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Get some wormies. Let's get some wormies. Come on. Here we go. Mama, I forgot to scratch and you're laying on it. Huh? Can you hop off for me for just a minute? What happens if I just lift the whole lid with you on it? That probably won't go very well, will it? Hmm? You can still lay on the lid and you want to hop off? Hang on a minute. Just a minute. Here we go. Ready? Ready? There we go. Okay. There we go. I knew that wouldn't last. I had to get to the scratch, honey. Sorry about that. Had to do it. Here we go. There we go. Here we go. Now you can see Blondie has not come down yet. Let me see if I can help her down. Come here, girl. You want to get down? Come on, baby. There we go. I gave her another bath the other night. Looks like I may have to do it again. But now she's coming out and drinking, see? And that has that uh, hydro hen in there. So that'll help her that, and get her going this morning. But she's doing better. Uh, her belly is not quite as big. I know there was a concern, some of you, I know it's, there's water belly, some other things that they can have, but I, it's not, she's not egg bound because remember, and I've said it many, many times, egg bound chickens don't last but about 24, 48 hours. And she's been this way for some time. So my best guess now, is it is some kind of internal parasite. So what I did, I got the Hydro Hen 4, which is good for everybody. And then I have this here. This is called Vermex, okay? And it has uh, garlic, cinnamon, thyme, and I don't have my glasses, so I can't read everything that's in there. This is a natural dewormer, all right? So I'm gonna put that in all the waters this morning uh, after I get done here. And we'll start that. It's a uh, three-day uh, process, three days in a row putting that in there. And so I'm hoping that that will even, you know, further uh, the process of her getting better. Plus de it will deworm everybody. There is, uh, there are other products you can use, but uh, that that comes highly rated. And so we're going to try some of that Vermex for, for worming. Okay. So yes, I am working on it. A lot of you were questioning, does she have this? Does she have that? Well, so far she's doing better. I can still tell her belly's a little puffy, and I have not seen any worms from any of the other birds, nothing in their poo or anything like that. So we're just doing the best we can, ladies and gentlemen. You know, I'd love for her to obviously to pull out of this and this not be that big a, you know, something that spreads throughout the rest of the birds. So, all right, you guys ready? Let's see, where's your dinner sticks? All right here, here we go. One for you, one for Sissy, one for Bubba. I know the dog's names are Revel and Riley, but Sissy and Bubba just flows like water. How's everybody doing this morning? How's the puppies? Heard you barking last night. Hi, boys. Hi, Mr. Rambo. How are you, buddy? Hmm? Oh, we can't get in there. Hello, Gizmo. Say good morning. Look at them horns are growing. Oh, they're getting bigger. What you doing? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I see a playtime coming on. Look out. Look out, she's ready. Look out, there we go. There we go. It's 72 degrees out here today, so it's uh, it's warm already. They'll play for a while, but they're gonna get hot pretty soon. Pretty hot. You poo pooed all over the things here. But I tell you, this four pallet deal has worked out great. You know one thing though, because they've been up here with their hooves. Now this is the new one. That is slicker than a peeled onion because they have beat that down so much and smoothed it out you know and they still get around on it okay but it's pretty slick as you know we we have uh we bought two swimming pools for the dogs and the goats more for the dogs i had water in this one and i don't put water in that one because as you've seen they like to get in there and play and they lay down in it it's almost like it's cool in there the goats are that one's full of goat poo so they they sleep in it at night I had water in this one right here, and you know what? 
they they didn't get in the water not even the dogs they drank out of it and it stayed there for two days well then i have to empty it so i just emptied it you know i'll fill it up again this morning but they're not getting in it for the water they're getting in it when it's empty so they can lay there and cool off and play in it so what do you what do you do you know i don't know i don't know what to do i guess maybe if it gets to be 95 or 100 they'll get in the water but we'll see because coming up this week it's going to be consistently in the 90s we're almost full-fledged into into summertime i think it starts june the 20th but come on train train you can't even see boo back there he's behind there he is he's behind sissy but yeah it's getting warm folks getting hot come on boys let's go feed piggies somebody commented the other day that the way i step in here to this pig pen and the way i act around these pigs they uh use the word stupid and said that it appears that I'm afraid of these pigs the way I get into this pig pen and have to step around and jump over these pigs. <laughs> That's what they said. I assure you, I'm not afraid of these pigs. I'm not afraid of any animal on this farm. We love and adore every animal. If you've watched our video, again, I, 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 don't, I didn't recognize the name of this person, so, you know, probably haven't watched very long. And I tried to take that into consideration, but uh oh, puppies, they're on to something. Those are our livestock guardian dogs, and they are good ones. All right, let's get the uh, let's get the goat food. You guys ready? Go we'll get something to eat. Let's do you guys first. My new feeding system here works out pretty good, pretty darn good. All right, boys, you know where to go. Open this up. They know where their bowls are at. Come on, they get they get right underfoot. You know they're so anxious to they're starving to death. See, they're so hungry. They don't have. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five. They don't have five hay feeders that they can get hay out of, or branches I cut down every day, or vegetation to eat. They're starving. You know, so they get all excited when there's food to be had. Five goats, all boys, all weathered. All weathered means they've been fixed, right? These two are brothers, Nigerian dwarf, P.W. and Fox. These are Nigerian dwarfs. These two are brothers, same mom and dad. Abu is from the same daddy. Yes, that's how it goes. So they're all brothers. Look at this face. Now look, now what do you think I got, bub? What do you think, look at this face. Look at these eyes. Hang on, you know, what do, you, what do I got? Look at this. Oh, give it to me. Let me see. Come on, Dad. Come on, Dad. What you got, Dad? What you got? What you got? There we go. Oh, that's better. That's better. I feel better now. Do you feel better than my eyes? Got more? Got more? Here. Here, P-Dub. There's yours. Oh, now don't get, don't get pushy. Here we go. Just a little bit more. Okay, there we go. Here, P-Dub. Here, P-Dub. Here, Bub. Here we go. It's P-Dub's turn. You know how this goes. There we go. All right, you boys are okay. You're okay. You're good. Are you guys done? Are you getting it all? Yeah. Boo. Chews a little slow. So when everybody's done, I go ahead and open this uh, up right here. Get her all the way back. Oh, thanks, P-Dub. Got a good boy. I taught him how to open doors. Well, I knew that somebody would make a liar out of me putting water in here. And uh, there's sissies getting in it. That's fine. Glad to see it. So we'll get that filled up. A few inches of water, and then she can get in there and cool her feet off. And that's all we wanted. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Well, that makes me feel better. See, see. Yeah, actually. Oh, you got your. You've been in it big time. Yeah, you're you're all wet. That's it. There we go. Oh, oh, you're gonna get me wet. Go under the bridge. It's under the bridge, everybody. That's what we do. That's a good girl. He's a good boy. We have brushed and brushed and brushed. He's got a lot of thin hair up here. Look at that little brown spot right there. That kind of appeared after we brushed him. Get in there. Sissy will get in. Sissy will go swimming. There we go. We'll put this over here and get a little deeper. There we go. Sissy's going to get in. That a girl. Well, that makes me feel better. Now, obviously, folks, look at the mud already. You know, I mean, I can't do anything about that. We'll have to, we'll let it go today and empty it again later on. That's a good girl. I'm so glad to see you in that swimming pool. So we'll leave that one over there. You can sleep in it and play in it. Would that be fine? That'd be good. Yeah. Brother, you're drinking that old dirty water. I mean, it's only dirty because of the floaties, but...
One thing about it, it'll keep the goats out, won't it? No, them goats hate water. They won't get in here. Everybody happy in here? Are we good? Huh? We good, Rambo? That's a boy. Rambo, all three of them, especially Rambo and Gizmo, love to be petted. I mean, they'll just stand there and just take that for minutes and minutes, won't you? Yeah, you will. Peekaboo, what are you doing? You don't need to, he's trying to get on this other side of that tarp and get to that one. He comes right there. You get over here, boo. I still put this on outside because uh, if I put them all in there, the big goats, if they have a hankering to, will come over and start bothering the little ones. So we're still doing this right here for a time. But they're getting bigger and bigger every day and they just grow sweeter and sweeter. I love these goats. Booth uses this as protection, folks. He still kind of comes in from the side. Here, buddy, let's fluff that up. And he's growing. He's kind of catching up a little bit. He's learning how to defend himself a little bit better. He's gaining confidence every day. He's a sweetheart. Well, this was your idea. Yep. So... So I get to talk? <laughs> okay, well... From the thumbnail and the title, I'm sure that you all are really curious, but back when I first started getting test results, Ralph also had some tests done and he just, you know, got some results back and just wasn't ready to discuss it, wanted to get through my ordeal, which now we're through my ordeal and now it's his ordeal. So we're probably going to need more prayer. He went to the doctor and I'll let you talk about the hypothyroidism because you know so much more about it but that's really not the key part of this I'll let you have the floor in a minute I'm talking don't interrupt so he didn't want to do this but we shared my problems we're going to share his he had an EKG which you know he's worked for the hospital or did before he retired for a long long time he never had an EKG apparently and he went to my doctor and she does a routine EKG so they found an arrhythmia she said, not a big deal, but let's go ahead and do an echocardiogram. So we went, this was way before my surgery, to the hospital here in town, and he had an echo. And the funny thing is, the guy that did the echo was a buddy, well, I don't say buddy, but they worked out together at the gym, and they see each other there all the time. And he did the echocardiogram, and of course, you know, Ralph was kind of curious how it went. Well, then the guy didn't show up to work out. <laughs> Ralph came home, and he was like, I don't know if he's avoiding me or what. Well... The report came out on our app that we said we have, and the doctor called him, or it was the PA, said, everything looks good. We'd already looked at the report, and we saw what was called mitral valve severe regurgitation. And I had looked it up, and according to everything I read, it was not good. And I mentioned it to him, and he said, well, let's wait till we hear back. Well, then he hears that everything's fine, so he's out walking the mall again with Chuck, and he, he sends me a text, and he said, hey, doctor said everything is good and I said hey you need to call him back because I said that can't be right so he called him back and he said you know what about the severe mitral valve regurgitation and she went "Ooh, I missed that just a little minor detail yeah, a little minor but everything detail. else was fine though by the way they a lot of other the heart the size the va the the, the, the uh, no hardening of the heart you know nothing no inclo nothing was you know I'll I didn't let you talk in a minute yeah thanks Anyway, so at the time, I said, we're at least going to get in with a cardiologist. They told us they would get him an appointment. We waited seven days, didn't hear anything. Finally, he sent a message through the app, and he said, hey, you know, what about this cardiologist appointment? And the, she called him, and she said, well, you can make your own. And we were like, wow, that would have been good to know because we've waited seven days. Anyway, I started calling around. Um, there was one in Springfield. Actually, I thought he was here too, but there was one in Springfield I kind of wanted to use because we kind of knew him from years ago. He kind of wanted to go to somebody here. So um, I got a hold of the cardiology department, and they said the earliest we can get him in is June 4th. Well, that was the day of my surgery. I said, what's the next appointment? And she said, June 12th. And I said, we'll take it. So we went to that appointment Wednesday. Is that right? Was that the 12th? Tuesday. 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 And we met with the doctor, and basically it is uh, something that has to be replaced. It, you know, we were kind of thinking that they were going to be able to go in through the leg. That's how they do a lot of them now. But th that is ones that they can repair, or people that are older than Ralph is, that maybe they need to prolong their life another five years or so, and repair would work. But in his case, that's not going to work. So 
He is probably going to have to have a valve replacement here pretty quick. They wanted to do what's called a TEE, and we're doing that tomorrow. And I guess that is more like the MRI was for me. It gives them a really descriptive idea of everything, everything that's going on. We saw the images in the cardiology uh, cardiologist appointment, and I'll let Ralph explain it more because he does a much better job than I do. But it isn't something that even if they went and repaired with what these little alligator clips are, it's probably still not going to cause his to close up. So we wanted to put that out there. I've been wanting to put it out for a while, but we really didn't know until Tuesday um, what all was involved. But it is time that I pass this off to you <laughs> and you can now use it because it's going to require me. He has to be down, by the way. If he does this the way they're talking about doing it, he will have to be in the hospital for five days or so and then down six weeks for recovery. So that's not going to be fun. That's not going to be easy. We haven't figured out all the logistics of how we're going to feed animals, how we're going to film. It's not going to be fun for you <laughs> with living with me. That's not that's the, true. That's the part. That's true. When he walked in and, you know, we were, we kind of knew after doing some research that it was going to take some kind of an operation. Yeah. When he walked in, it, or when he, avoided he explained the other two choices yeah he did <laughs> and he said those are done like what like a catheter type but he prefaced it with saying yeah. i don't think this is going to be a possibility for you no. so we were kind of sitting yeah. there going okay we know where we're going with yeah this. and i'm thinking don't you say it don't you say it and right out of his mouth he said we're going to have open heart surgery you're going to be in the hospital five days with a six-week recovery and i looked at him and i said you have got to be kidding me that is when my heart sank. I was yeah. absolutely... Mine did too, just, just hearing it come out of his mouth. I mean, we both had anyway. read it. You know, we both kind of knew what was coming, but... So, um, yeah, that's it. Right? That's, that's the whole thing in a, in a nutshell. We have done a lot of research since, and he asked me if I had rheumatic fever as a kid. Don't know. Back then, you know, uh, he said your mitral valve is... Uh, indicates that the way it's it's misshapen, the, the way it's done, you're, you've got these, they're called leaflets, and they work like this. Blood goes in, closes, like a drawbridge. And yours are like this on the ends. So he said, you're doing this. Blood is going back down, even so far into the lungs. So your heart works really hard to take that blood and push it back up so they can start recirculating. The danger is in that over a period of time is that your heart is a muscle, of course. Your heart gets bigger, um, and if once your heart is enlarged, he said, you can't put it, you can't make it smaller. Can't reverse it. And even if we fix this problem, and he said, we can fix it. He said, then your heart is still enlarged, and you'll always have some issues. Uh, the yeah. other thing that can happen, too, is your the thing that really makes it fail is your lower... Uh, chamber, the ventricle, I believe is on the bottom, uh, over, gets overworked, which causes a heart attack, basically, mm -hmm. you know, uh, left unattended. But the, the positive here for me is that my heart, he said, is his normal size. He said, everything else is fine. He said, you are, you are not a, a, a severe case of, you know, hey, it, it's beyond repair, beyond this and that. So he said, you're, you're okay there. It's just a matter of going in and Replacing the little leaflets, you know, and, and like Leanne said, the alligator clips are two or three year fix, maybe three to five, and then you're... Uh, well, there's no guarantee that that would work for you anyway, because one side of that has withdrawn so much that mm, it's not going to that. reach. Even if they put an alligator clip yeah. on it, those alligator clips might not close yeah. up, and they've and got the, to close mm -hmm. that to keep the blood from going back down into that left chamber so well, the all metal ones can last about 20 years so he said that's why we put them in a lot of 30 year olds but he said then you're on blood, blood thinners, thinners the rest of your life and just leave these these uh it's a uh, pig uh pig tissue pig tissue yes Th they'll last he said it could be 15 years and he said i had to ask that because i didn't he kept saying tissue and i said well, where does this tissue come from and yeah. he spoke up first he already knew and yeah. he said pig and i thought it can be a pig, cow, or a or yeah. human donor, but he said pig. So anyway, that's what we're going to do. He's hoping, you know, I don't, he said open heart. Of course, me, I'm thinking here.
he did say, I, hopefully, I did read, you could, it, it can be done here, but in some cases, which I think you have to do the TEE, he said they'll go oh, over no. here on this side. Well, and part of the reason of that is because the mitral valve it's is on the, on left the side, side. Right. on the same side as the aort aortic it's on valve. The left, it's on the left side, so yeah. hopefully that's, uh, that'll, that'll be... You know the way the way they can do it, but so so you know from that standpoint, it, it it also blew me away too. And I've always felt like my working out at some time point would pay off. I'm hoping that it's paid off this time, and that I'm pretty healthy, and that's why my heart is in good shape. And I ask, are there yeah. any restrictions between now and the time he has surgery? No, he can no. lift weights. He can do you know. And I'm like, really? But if you go back, what video? The last two videos ago, the well, video where the tree fell on the fence. That's the one. That what? The tree, the, the video, the tree fell on the fence where I was short of breath. That's what you were. People started talking about you being short of breath long before that. And because I edit, I started listening and I thought, you know what? They're right. But I kind of put it up to the fact that he gets kind of hyper, you know, when he's trying to explain things about the animals. And I just thought, well, that's what it is. Well, several of you kept saying, I noticed, Ralph, you're short of breath. And I kept watching and it did get worse you're right it, it got worse the last video that i did was the worst i mean i've literally gone in and edited out things because you sound like you get to the end of something and then you have to stop and just kind of take a deep breath and sigh and you've done that mm -hmm. a couple of times mm -hmm. and man y'all have been have been <laughs> such a help to us in a lot of ways that you don't even realize at the time we don't even realize at the time but when you say things like that, I start listening and I start going, you know, they're right. I'm hearing it too. Because when you're with somebody all the time, again, I just assume that's his personality sometimes because he gets wound up and gets to talking. And, well, you I'm know. hiking up a hill, you know, four or five times a day. Oh, nothing hurts you as far as exercise because you're deal, so used to it. that barge. Yeah. You know, that kind of thing there. So I think, you know, I could, I'm allowed to be a little bit out of breath. But it is, you know, but see, I, to me, that was normal. I didn't know, you know, that was normal for me to be that way. And I'm, she asked me if I was dizzy. Eh, maybe if I bend over and get back up real quick, maybe a little bit, but everybody does that. But she was right there because I was going to deny everything. Yeah, they were asking questions and he was saying no nope, before they got nope, through the question. Nope. And finally they said shortness of breath. And I went, yes, because he was sitting there going, and he went. And I have okay. been, I'm sorry. I no, it's all right. Yes, it, good thing, you know, Leanne is my... Um, oh, I'm, I'll am i be right there. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> You're stuck. <laughs> You're stuck, buddy. <laughs> it wasn't something we wanted to hear, but I think it was something, again, that we both kind of anticipated. We were just kind of hoping and praying that it could be done the other way. Maybe after Monday, after the TEE, but we're not counting on that because we don't want it just repaired. You know, he's oh, no. only 65 oh, no, 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 no. and, yeah, and I, we want yeah, replacement. Yeah, I, I, I may be 65, but I, and I, <laughs> this is going to sound, and I'm not, I, I, I could probably do things most 35, 45 year olds could not do. And I could, I could do it right now. In this condition, I could do it right now. I know you could. You don't so, have to prove it. Yeah. So anyway, I, uh, but he basically said, you don't want to wait two to three years because that would do more damage to the right, heart. Right. It might get enlarged. You might have heart failure. Right. There are a lot of things that can go wrong. So again, here we are, went in yeah. for a simple, you know, routine exam. And because she does EKGs, he got yeah. an EKG, which yeah. led to all of this. So again, what a blessing. Yeah, because I was thinking I was, everything I was doing was normal. I had mm -hmm. plenty. And now th there's another thing too. You know, fatigue, you know, Leanne, had, I, I've been getting, let me, let me back up. She mentioned the thyroid. Prior to that, I did some blood tests and they found out that I have hypothyroidism. You've got a scale of numbers, four and a half being the top. Mine was 6.5. A lot of you are going to relate to this, okay? It was a good thing he got this first because he was in denial just I, how could I have hypothyroidism? Look at me. <laughs> well, my cholesterol is higher than normal. Yeah. So we started yeah. way before the the heart thing. Mm -hmm. the, it was thyroid only. All right. Yep. Well, fatigue, mm -hmm. shortness of breath. You know, because your thyroid is your metabolism 
booster and enabler. It runs your system. It regulates your body temperature. You're susceptible. You, you don't like cold. Believe me, I hate the cold. I think I hate it just because I don't want to go out in it, but that could be make you more sensitive to cold. Different things. But again, I didn't notice the fatigue part. I noticed I, I, I was needing to come home and rest or maybe take a nap at 12, 12 you know, 12.30, whatever, and I, I don't normally do that. Well, I kept saying, quit getting up so early. But then I started thinking, you know, this isn't because he's getting up too early. He's always gotten up that early. Yeah. So there were signs, but... So anyhow, they put me on a... Uh, they, they waited 30 days. I had four weeks, and I took it again. Just, mm -hmm. you know, they, which it was still 5.62, which is still way high. So they put me on half a milligram of, it's called Levo-T, Levothyroxine. And that is what I'm on right now. And it, I've been on it for 22, 23 days, something like mm -hmm. that, 24, I think. Generally, it takes, say, four or five, four to six weeks. But well, the cardiologist to didn't want sink. you to have it retested so soon because right. he said if you do, they're going to want to give you more. Right. And that can be as bad as not having enough. And right. he said, let's... Goes the other way, hyper. Yeah, yeah. So he said, wait 90 days. Yeah. He said, let your system complete. You know, he said, then you test it in 90 days. If it's still high, then let him give you another half a dose. But he said, you don't want to just keep let them keep giving you, you know, every four weeks, jacking it up there. Because he mm -hmm. said, then you go the other way. It's called hyper. Then you're agitated, you're irritable. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> and you know, another sign of hypothyroid is depression. And sometimes I can look back thinking, you know, you know, I had an attitude problem. You know, I had, a, I felt sometimes, I don't know, you know, once somebody says I, we, mm. it, that, you start, it gets in your head a little bit. Yeah. Because we walked into this heart doctor and, or the lady that come in and asked the question, she said something about, how are you feeling or what are you, something about that? And I said, well, I was feeling fine until somebody told me I wasn't. <laughs> you know, I've been fine. Here I am. See, he's sardonic me. with everybody. It's oh, yeah, not it doesn't matter, man. All. I was, yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah, I can be that way. With it. But, but anyway, so anyway, here I saw the hypothyroidism and, and the guy said too, he said, gather a little bit. He did. He said, let's see how this, in other words, if they can get the heart valve replaced, it might take care of the fatigue that you're feeling now, heartbeats, the extra Well, that's heartbeats. what it is, yes, thank mm -hmm. you. He, the EKG, I wore the Holter monitor for, right. for 40, 48 hours. Yeah, we And they said, hey, you're, you're doing good. You got this little, you know, and they give me the, every beat I had, every whatever. Well, they told you the heart Holter monitor was fine. Yeah, they said it was fine, but what he- He looked at it, go ahead. Well, I got up and he showed me, he said, okay, you've got like three normal beats. And he goes, one, two, three, four, five, six. Mm -hmm. He goes, that is your, your mitral valve and he said uh, that's not necessarily the caused by the hypothyroidism he said that's your mitral valve misfiring right there and having to keep up then he uh, it was interesting too he listened to my heart that's <laughs> just what another I was kicker to too say. you know i told i made a joke and i said you know how many people have listened to my heart i said i do a wellness check every year for 20 years mm -hmm. i said nobody's ever said i had a problem Armor. And he said, you have a heart murmur. He said, I'm a heart specialist. Yeah, I know what I'm listening yeah, for. Yeah, to say that the hypothyroidism and the heart issue, you know, I, I'm looking forward to just... Getting it taken care of. Getting taken care of and see what normal is. Yeah. How would I, how would I be? I'm looking forward to how, how would I be if I don't have the heart murmur? How would I be if I, if by, if I don't have a thyroid issue? Well, here we are, folks. Uh, that's the scoop. Yeah, really, really nice cards that I actually have not even completely got them all open yet. Um, and then I got this came from Staffordshire. I think that's how you say that, right? England. Yes, Brenda and James. I'm not going to yeah. say your last name. Brenda and James. They, uh, James has watched us for a, and Brenda for a long time. They sent me pictures of his home and his backyard. It's such a wonderful James. You're the man. You and I Brenda. I don't know if you can see that or not, but that's Hold my guardian right angel. There. Yeah. And they sent that all the way from the uh, United Kingdom, and uh, James sends me things, uh, uh, Instagram, and we communicate, and just we just love you guys yeah. to, to just love you to pieces we really do that that's awesome yeah. Jody I got your hat I'm gonna show that off yeah uh, do you have it out uh, here no I'll, I'll, I'll wear it I'll, I'll tell you what I'll do I might wear it to film or something well but this is I'll after the fact so you're gonna have to well, I'll brag about it while I got it on okay. I want to go I got to get it sweaty oh okay yeah it's a cool looking wear hat, it wear it in or whatever you, you call you it you know I just wanted to, something we didn't touch on you know for me the the hard part is going to be 
the five days in hospital and then the six week recovery. Now we don't know if six weeks recovery means I can't, you know, what, I don't know what that means. I think it's going to be like mine. You're going to start out very restricted, probably more restricted than me by far, especially mm -hmm. if you've got all this incision mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. But you're just going to have to make up your mind. And then it's hard. I mean, I'm not supposed to lift over, what was it? It was 20 pounds for a few. And, weeks, you know, yesterday I got this bright idea. I just need a few things from Walmart. And he said, I'll go. And I said, no, no, I feel great. I'll go. I got ready. I got to Walmart, got in Walmart, and I thought, I'm not okay. Grandma called me. Yeah, she was just really, it was, it was awful. In fact, she came home, and I, I gave her the bell back. <laughs> Here's your bell. Here's your bell. I'm so tired of that. Oh, goodness. I How many times have you heard I've that heard, bell since I've, we came home? You know, home? I told you, when I first started taking this thyroid medicine, I was maybe dream. I would dream five, six dreams a night. This was one of my worst nightmares right here. I dreamt of that bell. <laughs> You're making that up. I woke up, up with a headache. You my are ears making were that up. You haven't even heard this bell before today. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let him fool you. But believe me, he's been right there. When I say I'm going to get such and such, you go, ah, I got it. He'll get up and he'll get it for me. So I'm well, not I'm, complaining. You know, and I, the boys, Chad's already said he's going to film. Personally, I'm going to do a live every day from the hospital bed. I'm just going to turn the phone on and say, let's go. I am. We're going we're gonna to walk the hospital. I can tell you right now, was it your, is it a colonoscopy that you had? They gave him some medicine for that. Well, too much information. No, this is good. They gave him some medicine to relax him. And I mean, he was relaxed and I was in there and he just, he was so sweet, so polite, just funny. Just the doctor came in, he was talking to him. And I said, hey, do they sell that stuff? Can I buy it and maybe take it home? And he started laughing. So I'm going to find out what it was and going to bring it home with me for six weeks. He's going to get a dose well, of it every morning. It's going to be difficult knowing that you're here. You know, and, and have the animals and the boys. I am not used to depending on anybody to do those chores or anything. And it's going to be, it's going to be. That's the thing that I, I think about. Get that's, it, that's the thing that keeps me up at night right now, folks, is thinking about turning things over and, and, and you know. But you know, I can get pretty ugly if I need to. And if I need well, you're to, not ugly. if I need to, I'll handle it or I'll call in the troops. I know. And I, 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 it, oh, I, know, I know you can. But it's just me. I know, you know it's just I, you. You know how I'm, I'm Yeah, clicking. I do. 44 years, I know. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to, you know, we're, I'm going to make the best of it. And Everybody, you heard that. He's going to make the best of it because that's not what he told me when we met with the cardiologist. Yeah, so he said, I, this is not going to go well. You're not going to like me. And I was like, <laughs> I know that. You may not. They may not <laughs> like not me. not like you either. If I have to have a gripe session, I'll just turn the camera on and I'll gripe to all of them. And they That's can okay. Keep me down. So I look, can, I'm getting I ready. Can edit to, it. I'm getting ready. Grandma's coming up here. I'm getting ready to do this or that. And so, lock me down. But I'm I'm looking forward to the you know I, after, like you. You know what I mean. And this is kind of the the, the summer of '24 is going to be a memorable summer for it us. Is I mean be. we we've never been through anything like this no. ever never i mean with other family members or for, but but us personally so i'm just hoping that monday i go in and i'm going to press them for a time i don't think they're going to give me a time monday no because uh, you know but. the cardiologist that is doing this is a female and she was who they were going to hook him up with earlier when i first called but for one thing she was way far at she's yeah. the expert at tee scopes and mm -hmm. she's the one doing that tomorrow right. so but I'm going to ask her, you know, I, I don't know how long it takes, to, uh, obviously, to, to get the results of that. And then, and you know, it depends. By the way, th th this is a, like an ultrasound. It just gives you th this TEE is a esophageal blah, 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 and they go down into your lung. And then they look at the heart and take, uh, uh, oh, it's an ultrasound. But it mm -hmm. gives you, then they d the computer turns that into a picture. Yep. And, I, and he said it's just like your inside. Minute details. My, yeah, minute details. So maybe they'll find a little something. But from what I saw, in the, I could definitely see the, tell you what, how the body works and how God designed things to work. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. What pretty, a miracle. Pretty intricate. I mean, I was blown away by how the, I, and, and I am, the, 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 there is no science that could explain that. Yeah. And how your heart pumps and how all that works. No science on earth they could explain that. So it is, it is God made, and uh, that is that is amazing. I appreciate the prayers, everybody. And we yeah. may not know by the Wednesday video. Uh, the results may not be back right, yet. So right, right. we will keep you informed as soon as yeah. we can. Tuesday we've got to go back to my doctor. So we're going to have his scope on Monday. Tuesday will be me. I'll be driving, not him. 
and we'll go back for a two-week checkup. They do put me out for this, by yes, the way. Yes, they do. But I think you drink something. She, he said you wake right back up and you're good to go. Yeah, but that doesn't mean you can I'll drive. I'll be feeding animals that afternoon. You, you will be. Yeah. There you have it. Well, my prayer is not, not only is that I, I know everything to go well, but I want this to be as soon as possible. If they told mm -hmm. me you're going if this Monday, hey, we'll have results Thursday, and you want to go Friday, or I'm in. I'm going. I'm not. There's no reason to put it off. I know it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough on Leanne and the boys. It will be, you know, and I know we'll they'll all be it. here for you. But We just really want to thank you for the cards, for the angel, for everything. Jody, for the new hat. Um, I think he's going to have to wear it when he goes into surgery. So it's camo. <laughs> yeah. But we will need more prayer. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody does. Thank you guys for the prayers. We just we just love you guys so so much, and and the community and our Doss family members that. that and watch again, us. thank you to the Doss Farms family members that when we don't see the comment, you all jump in and you put prayers down for whoever's asking That's for them because right. right. we're we're struggling to keep up. We're trying, but I know that things are going to get even more hectic here in the near future. Yeah, forgive me for short answers sometimes, but you know. Uh, I pray long. <laughs> I give you a short answer, but I pray long. All right. Thank you for yeah. watching all our families, the, the boys, and Case, and and uh, we just we're we're all so blessed, so thankful. We yeah. really, really, we truly, truly are. We love you guys. God bless you. Until next time. Bye. <laughs> You're scaring the goats. Love you guys. Love you. Bye.